All right, Jonathan Allen was the draft choice by the Redskins. Comes as somewhat of a surprise. Charlie Castley, our good buddy, the former Redskins and Texans GM, now an NFL analyst for CSN, he actually sat down with Jonathan Allen and broke down tape before the draft. I watched some of that feature it was good. yesterday, so Charlie knows him well. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, everybody. Charlie, hey, thanks for waking Big up night. with the junkies. Charlie, did you know all along that Jonathan Allen was going to tumble to 17 <laughs> for the skins and no. you just had a big feature on him? Come on. The fix was in. No. Hey, you're talking about blind luck on that one, huh? Yeah. That was mm-hmm. crazy. So, what, is, what is your take? Before, he, before we yeah. get your, your, your take on him as a player, what are your thoughts on some of these issues where they're talking about arthritis? Uh, you know, he's had some shoulder surgeries. We all know anytime you have surgery like that, arthritis can creep in a little earlier than, than typical. Is that really what scared teams away? I believe so. And, and, and here, here's, here's what the medical report I got, not from the Redskins. Mm-hmm. Um, and here's how a team would handle it. He's had two shoulder, shoulder surgeries, okay? Um, so basically what teams looked at, the ones I talked to, is, quote, short-term career, okay? So what's that mean? It's impossible to define that. Well, every player is a short-term career guy because it's a four-year contract, basically. Um, you know, his will be potentially five in the first round. But what's different about the game now is they don't hit much. You only mm. got 13 padded practices in the whole season. Now, we used to have 48 padded practices during the season. You only have how many now? Okay. 13 padded practices. Wow. wow. Okay. You got to give D. Smith props. <laughs> and then you got to remember that. now, got to remember, yeah. Well, I'm not a f I'm not a fan of it because it's hurt the game. It's made the game poorer. So that, mm. that that'll be a hell of an argument you put me on with him. Yeah. <laughs> so uh that stinks. Bad for the game. But anyway, uh the bottom, that's the rule though. And you only go once a day and two a days. So the wear and tear is not what it used to be. So I think it I, I can see why he slipped and I could see why they took him. Uh I would have taken him with the same medical report. Yeah. What type of game does he have? Is he going to be strictly an outside rusher, an inside rusher? Tell us about him. No, he, he's he, uh, in the 34 defense. He'll play defensive end. On third down, he'll line up inside as a, a tackle rusher. Uh, I, this guy's a heck of a player now. This guy Solomon Thomas, who went too. Hmm. Okay? Uh, and I'm not saying it because the Redskins took it. I said that all, all spring. He's a better player coming out of college than Adama and Sue was. Okay? Sue was a Saturday night highlight guy. He wasn't consistent. This guy's consistent. Good hand use, quick, plays a run well, rushes the pass well inside. Um, Gerald McCoy, who was better than Sue coming out, is more explosive than this guy. So, I mean, this guy's a legitimately top five player yeah. as a football player when he plays. And and he played. And, okay? he's, got, and he's got a motor, so, too. He's got a motor, Charlie. He's got a motor. A very what, what, I, what I got out of him on that special – and, and I don't know how much you can get out, you can pick up uh, because obviously I had him for the whole time, a couple hours, and obviously in a half hour special. But his intelligence and studying of the game is phenomenal for a, uh, for a rookie. He's going to be way ahead of everybody. Hmm. All right. So what do you expect the skins to do here uh, today and you know next couple of days? What are they targeting? What position do you think they're targeting? Well, um, <clears throat> on Good Morning Football, uh, which is why I'm up so early this morning. Um, you know, we're going to talk about uh, mock drafts. Now, the Redskins won't be in that mock draft because they picked farther down. But uh, you've got to kind of play this by need and strength of the draft. So hopefully they take need. But their big needs were defensive line. This was a big get for them. Inside linebacker, I think there's some players they might have a shot at there. Safety, I think there's some players they might have a shot at there. John, John Johnson, who's also in the special, a local guy, and I'm not plugging it. This guy is going to be a steal if they get him in the third or fourth round. Very instinctive safety, and he could play center field for him. Hey, Charlie, I don't know. In the middle of this, uh, you know, somewhere there, I don't know, between eight, nine, something like that. Ian Rappaport tweeted in the middle of this that the Brams were the the the, the Brams the Browns were uh, actively trying to acquire uh, Kirk Cousins. His quote was, "This is real." The Redskins, everybody associated with the Redskins, denied it. I'm declaring that fake news. What what was? Did you see that at the time? Were you aware of that? Did you, do you believe there was any validity to that? Uh, number one, uh, I, I, I have not talked to Ian about it. I was nowhere near him last night. Uh, during the day, we, we kind of sit next to each other uh, doing our work. Okay, number one, Ian doesn't report fake news. What Ian probably got was something from Cleveland saying they were going to make a phone call. Okay? 
Uh, that, uh, and I haven't talked to you, but that's mm -hmm. my guess. Okay. And clearly the Redskins simply said no, which is they've said no to anybody from right. what I can gather. Right. So uh, I, I think that's probably what happened there. Okay, gotcha. Uh, what about some of the best players available? I know Dalvin Cook is one of the big names. Is still uh, out there. Who, who else would jump out at you? Would it, would it cause anybody to move up for? Um, well, you've got Dalvin Cook uh, as, as a possibility when you look at this thing. Um, corners, you've got Kevin King of Washington. Uh, Sidney Jones is an interesting one because the medical report came back in him. He's a corner from Washington, number two in the uh, draft, probably right. would have gone 10 to 14. Right. Um, a very optimistic medical report that he would be ready at camp. So, you know, he's a guy that, that probably can go in that situation. A couple of offensive linemen, Forrest Lamp, a guard from Western Kentucky. He had first-round grades. Cam Robinson, a tackle from Houston. Uh, excuse me. Alabama. Alabama, he had first-round grades. Um, you mentioned Cook. Uh, Zach Cunningham, a linebacker from Vanderbilt, uh, first-round grades. 